my intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up, Glamazons? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining us, hello, my name is Natalie, and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. So today I'm not going to be talking about either of those things or any of my normal video topics. I am going through a like major life change right now. Well, I'm going to be very, very soon. I am going to be transitioning from night shift to day shift. And <laughs> I have never worked day shift. Well, I mean, I work day shift, like usually if I'm hired somewhere, they want you to work like a month or certain amount of time on day shift before you go to nights. So I have worked it, but for the all of my career, even the majority of nursing school, I was on nights. I'm a night person, I'm a night owl, I'm, yes. But I have been doing it for over eight years and my body is literally drained. I'm way past E. And dealing with chronic pain on top of that, something that also already makes you tired and drains all like your dopamine and you know your feel good hormones and makes you depressed, that compounded with working night shift going completely against your natural circadian rhythm. Like yeah, all I do is work and I literally sleep like three days and then I go back to work. And I'm just like, this is not a life. I cannot keep doing this. My body is exhausted. But I love night shift. My heart is, is and always will be with night shift. I am a night shift nurse. I can't even believe that the words I'm going to day shift are coming out of my mouth. I honestly never thought that I would transition to day shift. So today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of night shift nursing, what I love about it, and then ultimately why I am deciding to switch to days. <sighs> Even though I don't want to, I know I have to. Okay, so um, let's talk about the pros of night shift nursing. You have a, so much more autonomy you you know during the day like all the doctors are there and you know ordering things telling you you do this 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 you know at night there's one doctor but you you call him if you need him but because I work in critical care we have a very there's a strong trust between us and the intensivist so they trust us to kind of make a lot of the decisions um, and yeah I think ultimately that autonomy also makes night shift nurses stronger nurses because we have to do that critical thinking by ourselves and there's no one around to really have their put their input in or to help like it's all you and yeah I think because just those when you're forced to do things with limited resources it just makes you stronger so okay well no that's a con i'll wait i won't talk about that so another thing is because there are less staff there and it's basically just you and the other nurses there is a lot of camaraderie on night shift you guys are very very close and you're a team and that that's your family and you know because you only have each other to rely on and yeah that's when I have met my best friends through you know working with them and you know they're just amazing people and yeah it definitely makes a huge difference who you work with and night shift is also going to be better suited towards introvert personalities. I am an introvert, I'm an INFJ, so because there is less stimulation on night shift, 
it's more ideal for introverts. So it's gonna be a lot of introverts, so it's gonna be really chill, cool people. And yeah, the personalities on day shift I'm kinda of worried about because they're completely opposite of mine. <sighs> All right, pros, oh, the money, yeah. So right now I make $5 night shift differential and well here's another um, I guess pro for night shifts because on my unit now and it seems like it's been like this on most units I've worked on that there are a lot of newer like critical care nurses on night shift because here's another pro night shift is a better shift to learn on because there is that you know occasional downtime you're able to go through go through things slower or maybe ask someone how do i do this whereas day shift you don't really have that time for learning but so because there are some newer you know like critical care nurses i'm one of the senior nurses and i'm almost um charge nurse or nurse leader every night i work but I'm going to be going to day shift and there's a lot of all of the nurses on day shift are, you know, senior nurses. So I'm going to lose that extra dollar an hour of, of charge nurse pay. So yeah, technically I'm making $6 more an hour working night shift right now. Um, and night shift is also good for, um, there's a lot of like mothers with young babies on night shift because you know then they go home and they're able to be with their kids um so yeah that's another pro so cons everybody talks about oh don't smoke smoking kills you don't drink drinking kills you drugs kill you they don't ever talk about night shift nursing will kill you are you guys ready for this Working night shift, working overnight, takes 10 years off of your life. Ah! And, oh, I just found this website, but it's on my phone. Okay, oh wow. All right. Aside from the obvious fatigue, effects include Gastrointestinal symptoms like upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea, constipation, and heartburn. Oh my gosh, I was so nauseous last night. Huh. Increased risk of injuries and accidents. Hmm. That's how I hurt my back. Insomnia. Decreased quality of life. General feeling of being unwell. So long-term effects of um, shift work. Cardiovascular disease. Um, there's an increased risk of heart attacks and heart disease. Um, stroke increases by 5% every five years a person um, performs shift work. Diabetes and metabolic syndrome. Uh, <laughs> Obesity. Depression and mood disorders. Gastrointestinal problems. Problems with fertility and pregnancy. Cancer. Wow. According to a study by Princeton University, an estimated 7 to 15% of the workforce in industrialized countries was engaged in some form of night work. Despite the World Health Organization having classified night work as a probable cause of cancer due to disruption of circadian ry rhythms. Wow. So another con is, I mean, you work nights. Almost everyone else in the world works during the day. So you are kind of isolated, isolated to this small like niche of people who work night shifts. And it's so hard to date. And especially because on my days off, I'm so tired. I honestly would rather sleep. I think that that has a huge, huge part to play in why I've been single for so long. I'm just too tired to do anything. And it's like, yeah, I'm making more money on night shift, but what's the point of making more money if I am too tired to ever do anything to spend that money to enjoy it? 
it's like my mind is constantly in a fog and the pain does that to me too so it's like I'm fogged double time and you know like I am have made mistakes at night and I know probably almost everybody who work, works night shift has fallen asleep driving home and that's fucking scary that's scary like why am I risking my life for this because I love night shift because it's awesome so reduction in quality and quantity of sleep widespread complaints of fatigue anxiety depression and increased neuroticism increasing evidence of adverse cardiovascular effects possible increase in gastrointestinal disorders increased risk of spontaneous abortion low birth weight and prematurity i wonder why if that's why i've had multiple miscarriages Many countries have long banned the employment of women on shift work. The emergence of equal opportunity legislation has questioned the basis for such prohibition. It seems that women complain of more sleepiness on shift work, but the physiological basis for this is difficult to substantiate. Some of the increased difficulties that women have on shift work are related to their greater domestic obligations and to the broad-based assertion that women tend to report health symptoms more often than men. Also, there does seem to be some evidence for an adverse reproductive effect already noted. What? <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't know if those are all the cons because I'm too tired to think clearly. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not because I always forget something when I'm filming because I'm just so tired and there's that constant fog again. But yeah, I need to make a change. I can't live like this anymore. I just can't. <sighs> but I have a feeling I'm probably going to go back to night shift at some point. I just need a break, I think. I don't know. <sighs> My heart is, I'm just a night shifter. I'm a night shifter to my core. But I'm just too tired. I have to make a change. All right, if you guys are maybe thinking about going into night shift, let me know how you feel about it or if you work night shifts, how long have you been doing it and how do you feel about day shift? Yeah. I knew I was gonna forget a few things. I was so tired when I filmed the first part of uh, the pros and cons of nursing. Another con. Um, so, one, I have one pro and one con of nursing that I forgot. I'm sure there'll be more. There'll probably be like three or four different parts of this video. Hopefully not, but you never know. Okay, for the first pro, I touched on it a, a little bit, um, but I wanna go more in depth on it. So, I was saying on you know night shift, there can be more newer nurses than there are on day shift and because of that I am a uh, what's the word? a senior nurse so therefore I get the most critical patients for an assignment which is really good for me because it makes sure you know I make sure I don't lose my skills when it comes to balloon pumps or a patient on CRT or an impella and because right now there's only, oh, there's three of us now on night shift that can take impellas, but for a period of time, there was only two of us. So it would be, we had to work opposite shifts to make sure there was always a nurse on that could do charge and could take those more critical patients. Now, today I made it out of bed. Don't know how that happened. Oh, I know I have things I had to do. I had to go, I have three doctor's appointments today. Um, but I was just at the gas station getting some gas and I'm like, oh, those are some cute boys right there. Yeah, I don't see people like this when I'm usually at the gas station at 7.30 in the morning or before COVID, I would legit like do grocery shopping at two in the morning. I remember I went and I stopped and I got a car wash. It was like 2.30 in the morning. And when I went in, the guy's like, yeah, we don't see many people uh, buying a sweet tea and getting a car wash at 2.30 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I know. I work night shift. It's usually just like rapists and murderers out here, but there's little old me as well. <laughs> so yeah, and, and even though I'm an introvert, I'm not very fond of people. It's kind of nice to be like, 
out during the rest of out when the rest of the world is as well so even though I didn't think I would normally consider that a good thing but since I've been isolated from it for so long I am starting to kind of miss miss it I mean that's another thing that's so hard with dating it's like night shift I just I'm I never have those casual encounters when I'm out doing things because it's usually at some ridiculous time of day that I'm doing them if that makes any sense all right. All right, guys. So that's it for now. I might be back. Who knows? All right.